hello and welcome to a new video in this video I'm going to show you how to remove the uh, GNOME desktop from a CentOS server why would you want to remove the GNOME desktop from the, the CentOS server probably you want to switch to the command line uh, mode or maybe you want to remove it and add another GUI for me maybe I'm going to remove GNOME and install uh, uh, MATE okay but anyway whatever your purpose is in this video we will see how to remove the GNOME desktop the X window system and probably we will also remove the GUI and graphical administration tools by the way this is a CentOS 8 uh, system by the way you can check the version of your system by running the following command cat forward slash etc forward slash os release enter and as you can see this is CentOS Linux version 8 okay so let's clear that so first thing I'm going to do is switch to the root user uh, to avoid typing the password many times so I'm going to run su-l which is going to allow me to switch to the root password and uh, to the root user and then type the root password and will be logged in as a root user how you can tell you are logged in as a root user is is if you can see this pound uh, or hashtag sign first thing we are going to do is run the following command dnf group list what this command is going to do is it's going to show us the available groups on the system let's see what groups do we have on this system So as you can see we have a group called server with GUI so we need to remove that and we also have the graphical administration tools we, we probably are going to remove this one as well so first we need to run the following command DNF let me just clear my screen DNF group remove x window system and then space no so the, uh, it's a good practice to use double quotes around packages that have space in them but if the package doesn't have a space in its name you don't have to use double quotes hit enter so this is going to remove uh, 375 packages which will be the equivalent of 889 megabytes so I'm going to say yes to this operation so the removal process is starting obviously this is going to take some time because we are going to remove 375 packages I'm going to pause the video and resume recording once the removal, pro the removal process has finished so as you can see after the an installation or the removal process finished and I restarted uh, my server I do not have a GUI so the GNOME desktop has been removed successfully so I can log in via command line 
just like that and I'm logged into my server if you are not planning on installing another uh, desktop you can remove the graphical administration tools by running the following command dnf group remove and then graphical administration tools but I'm not going to run this command because I'm planning on installing another GUI, GUI on this uh, server or maybe I'm going to install it in the future but you can run this command if you if you don't want to install another uh, desktop on this on your server another thing you can do is stop the system from trying to load the GUI on boot because the system doesn't know that there is no graphical desktop so it's going to look for it every time when it's booting so to stop that you can run system ctl set default multi user dot target and if you run this your system will not be looking for a GUI at startup so this is how uh, you can remove a GNOME desktop from your uh, server that has a GUI thank you for watching